A health alert this afternoon as there is a growing need for caregivers for the elderly. Yeah, oftentimes that responsibility is going to fall on family members. But Kenneth Craig shows us a new home health program to prevent that from happening. See, that was your birthday party. <laughs> Legia Prezioso is 93 years old and suffers from dementia. Her son's fiance, Peggy, recently became her full time caregiver, part of a promise he made to his father. He asked me to look after my mom, and several weeks later, he, he died. Wow. So um, I took that uh, promise pretty seriously. This Peggy is assists of Legia of with of everything from her medication and meals. Push to simply getting around. The arrangement is called self-directed care, Try to unlock. which allows the sick or elderly to hire their own family and friends to take care of them, and those loved ones get paid for it. But patients don't have to pay out of their own pockets. The program is funded by Medicaid. Without being paid to take care of her, I would have to go out and get a job, and then we'd have to have somebody come in, and she's not comfortable with that. Legia's case is managed and coordinated by a company called Freedom Care, which oversees thousands of New York patients. This is really the future of home health care. CEO Yoel Gabay believes the model could make a big dent in the growing shortage of caregivers driven by aging baby boomers, while also improving health outcomes for patients. Nobody's going to care for family like family. We've seen hospitalization numbers drop significantly from national averages. Most states have similar Medicaid programs for seniors. Salaries vary state to state. It recognizes me, but Peggy uses an app equipped with facial recognition and tracking technology, a safety mechanism designed to prevent fraud. And I bet that you can feel really comforted and good every day when you leave the house, knowing that your mom is in the in the best hands. It does allow me to kind of not stress out about that. And her biggest wish was to die in her own home. She didn't want to go to a nursing home. And this family is grateful they're now able to do what they can to make that happen. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York.